Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about the Datadog Agent Manager. And this is going to be a very interesting video because we are going to discuss about the uh, monitoring part of how to use the Datadog Agent Manager. And in fact, there are like much more videos coming in in the pipeline. But this is the very first video for you to uh, introduce about what is Datadog Agent Manager and how does it help as for monitoring the application again this is some uh, again the, this is something like a tool like an application performance monitoring tool something related to uh, app dynamics or directory so this one is another uh, tool which is data dog so uh, to look and to have an introduction about data dog uh, so data dog as i told you it's it's mainly for used for monitoring purpose and monitoring and observability uh, purpose. So that's the reason uh, performance testers, performance engineers, and the SREs, the site reliability engineers also uh, should understand or should have basic knowledge about how Datadog works. And this is mainly designed for cloud scale application. And this Datadog helps organizations to track and analyze the performance of their infrastructure. So for example, you can see about the disk, you can see about the CPU, the file handling, the input output. So there are some of the uh, uh, ways where you can analyze the performance of their infrastructure, their applications, and the services. And Datadog uh, is widely used for monitoring, for troubleshooting, and for the security purpose across various layers of IT stack. So that's why you can see the various layers of file handling, IO, memory, network. So these are some of the areas where the Datadog will help you to understand. And again, uh, some of the features that Datadog provides as are the metrics and dashboards. I will uh, show you that in a separate video. But for now, I will see about the Datadog Agent Manager. And you can also do see the log management. You can do the application performance monitoring. You can do security monitoring. And also, you can do infrastructure monitoring. And who owns Datadog? So Datadog is uh, founded in 2010 by Olivier Pommel and Alexis. Uh, so the company has grown significantly and Datadog is now a global company with headquartered in New York City. Uh, so as I told you, uh, the features and uh, coming back to this Datadog agent manager, how did I install it? So going back to the original screen where I have installed it, let me minimize the screen, sorry. Yep, so coming back to this screen, the datadoghq.eu. So I have created an account um, with this website, with this uh, application. And then I have downloaded the uh, datadog agent for Windows. And using this partial command, the start process, wait, argument list, and the HTTPS. So this uh, datadog uses the Amazon uh, AWS uh, containers the s3 buckets and using that i have installed so any uh, command that uh, when which i'm creating which i'm running it the basic setup that has come is coming from the amazon aws server and that, i mean the agent basically the windows stable agent i have downloaded it from the uh, amazon and uh, we you need to have an api key so api key here you can see it does uh, disable for some safety purpose in case if you have uh, created your account you will get a different api key and using that you can run this in partial or if you want to uh, run it using the installer you can do that as well but for now i have used the partial because that's so it's very like uh, it's uh, it's a very simple process just enter the command and give an enter and automatically your datadog agent will get installed so after uh, installing it what happened is I could see uh, I could see this window, the Datadog Agent Manager, and it has several features, which is uh, the status, the general status of uh, my machine. So this one, what you see here, is the it displays the agent information, and it displays the system information, the host information where it is hosted, the host name, and every single detail of a machine, and then the host name details, and then the metadata of this machine the aggregator, the APM, the application performance monitoring, and it shows it's running, and the process ID is 3340. So if you see in task manager, you can see that, and the endpoints, which is the trace.agent.data.doghq.eu. And then uh, you can see here the doc states, the doc stats D, and along with their endpoints, the API, the forwarder, which actually forwards the uh, information to the uh, data doc agent manager, and also you can see various other informations. And then we have the 
collect their information. So this one or uh, this part is where you collect all the checks or all the information. So I will explain you uh, all these uh, one by one because these uh, you must have, you should have a real understanding on what exactly is this and because that will help you during your APM, the application performance monitoring and starting with it, that first one. So we have the agent crash detect and before that, if you see log, so you can uh, see you are collecting the logs. I mean, like every log that's running in this mission, you can collect them. And uh, when you come to the settings, you can see all these uh, details, the API key, the site details and everything, and then coming back to the manage checks, you can edit, enable check, or you can, in fact, if you want to add any check, you can even add that as well. So for example, if you want to add the DNS check or the GitLab check or the HTTP, like whatever the services that is running in the mission, you can um, add it and you can watch them. So in this scenario uh, for now, let me add the very basic, uh, just one of the uh, like active MQ. So for, I, for example, like if I enter this add MQ and then when I click on add check, so that will get added to the original uh, checks and I can watch them as well. So that's how the uh, check part works. And then coming to the flare, so in case if you want to send any message to the data doc, you can add it in the flare. And if you want to restart the agent, you can click on this restart agent, that will restart your data doc agent manager. And coming back to this original part, the running checks agent crash test, what exactly is this? So this, uh, uh, the uh, agent crash test is a check name. And this is a specific monitoring check which is designed to detect if the data dog agent has crashed or it is experiencing any issues. Because this one, the agent crash detect is mainly concerned with the data dog agent. It has nothing to do with any other part. It's completely uh, explaining about the data dog agent. And uh, here you can see the agent uh, instance ID. So this is again a unique one. And also it shows the status of the agent is okay. And then so far we have run 151 runs. So the check has been run a total of 151 times after it was set up. And then here you can see the metric samples, uh, which it shows as two or zero and the total is zero and the events is zero, the service checks are zero. So the checks did not collect any metric data because uh, there are no performance related metrics which are generated during any of the runs. And this is expected for a crash detection check as because it is more focused on detecting the specific event crashes uh, rather than metrics. So for example, in case, let me just show you um, what if, if I, uh, let me open the task manager and going to the services. Let me just search for data dog. Yeah, so 3340. And if I stop, and if I refresh this one, go to collector, it still shows it's connected to agent. So let me, uh, yeah, let me just. Uh, then stop. Yep, so now we can see it is uh, stopped. So what I'll do is let me again go back to the original screen and then we'll restart them. So we'll restart those services. I uh, will get it. Datadog, yeah, here we have all these three. Datadog start, security agent start system probe start, and then the trace agent, yep, and then the dog agent. So now all these are running, and if I click on it and go to the collector information, so here you can see the total run is one because it has just now started. And even you can see the CPU runs, it has been started just now because it takes as it has been set up just now. So that is the reason it shows just one. And uh, there are like no crash events or, uh, nothing is detected in terms of the crash uh, of the agent. So it's just the stop. It's not just a crash or anything that the system actually expects. And then when it comes to the service checks, uh, as showing as zero, um, which is uh, which are used to monitor the status of external services in case there are, if there are like no service checks are performed, uh, as it's a crash detection check, so not a service monitoring one. And then you can, you can see the average execution time is zero seconds, which is um, the check complete almost 
within zero seconds and then you can see the last execution date and then the last successful execution date so these are some of the uh, timing details something like a log and then we have the container image so the, some of the most important ones are the cpu the memory and then the uh, uh, the ntp so let me explain you these three so just to give you a quick introduction on what is ntp so ntp is uh, the network time protocol uh, because this check, the NTP protocol check, will ensure that the system's clock is synchronized with an NTP server, that is the network time protocol server, uh, to maintain the accurate time, which is crucial for logs, for metrics, and for distributed system operations. So that's why I told you that this is very critical and this is very important because this part is again uh, is, is mapped with the system's clock. I mean, like it's just synchronized with the NTP server. And uh, showing about the uh, instance ID, so this again is, is a specific instance ID, what you see here and then how many runs we have so far run, and then the metric sample. So this means uh, during the single run, the check collected one uh, one metric sample related to the NTP synchronization, because just now I have restarted it, right? So when I restarted it, or when it stopped and started it again, uh, this will have to synchronize with the NTP server time. And this sample, uh, what we see here, uh, represents the time offset between the local time and the NTP server. And then we have the service check. So previously, if you see, uh, there are no service checks uh, done for the memory or for the file handle or for the CPU, but it has happened for the NTP because it did uh, uh, this service. I mean, the, it actually checked the, uh, it did a, a service check to confirm whether the system is synchronized with the NTP server. So that is the reason you can see, you, you don't see any of the service checks for any of the other metrics, but you can see that for only for the NTP. So that is the reason, I mean, uh, only when you keep on practicing that, only when, when you keep on using it, you will understand what is the uh, use of all these um, metrics and how well it helps you in monitoring uh, or in doing the observability part using the data doc. And then uh, here you can see the average execution time. So that part is actually is the time that is taken for the uh, NTP check. So uh, the check actually took 123 milliseconds to execute, and this is the time it took for the agent to query the NTP server, that is the um, uh, network time protocol server, uh, and uh, to get the time, to get the time. So that's that's the process, or that's the purpose of this NTP. And then finally, it will report the result. So actually, it's very quick. I would say it's 123 milliseconds is less than like it's uh, it's 0 0.1 seconds. Uh, but it's uh, still uh, like 0 0.10 second, yeah. uh, one zero times of what one second is. It's very quick, but still, uh, whenever uh, the agent is getting restarted or whenever it's getting stopped and started automatically, this NTP will happen. So let me again do a quick restart and let's see what happens. Unable to contact, yes. Coming back to the collector part, going to the NTP, yep. So here, if you see, the service check ran ex uh, executed one time, and then the pre this time it was like, uh, it's better, I believe, like it previously is 123 milliseconds, and now it's like 120 milliseconds. It's like quicker than the previous time, and it checks the network time, network uh, time protocol. And same way, uh, let's see the what is the CPU and what is the memory tells us about. So what do you see here? The CPU and the memory is, the CPU and memory of the host machine, like the machine where we have installed the data dog. So that actually monitors the, uh, the instance. So basically it starts with the uh, instance ID and then the total run. So um, it has executed once uh, after it has been started. And then you can see that is like metric, eight metric samples, uh, which is like eight CPU related metrics. Uh, so basically it is uh, the CPU utilization, the load averages, the CPU time spent on various processes because these metrics provide a snapshot of the CPU usage across different categories. So you can understand, for example, if you have installed your Datadog on your uh, app server, so by monitoring these part, you can understand how much CPU has been utilized during the load test or how much CPU has been utilized in the production environment, right? So that's the reason uh, monitoring uh, or observing the Datadog agent manager is very helpful for you because this actually takes the host's CPU details and host memory details, right? And yeah, I think I have explained you uh, whatever uh, the basic thing that you have to check and how to install your Datadog in the mission. And with that, I come to an end of this video. If you have any queries, any doubts, please do check out in our uh, uh, 
uh, please do comment in the uh, in the uh, video or you can also uh, let me know in, in my whatsapp channel and yeah in our upcoming videos we'll see how to create or how to uh, monitoring or how to observe this using charts and graphs using the data mon data dog monitoring uh, screen and then uh, again uh, just to tell you give you an introduction so here we have our website uh, the little sla official page which i've created as part of uh, using github.io where, where you can uh, start learning like you don't need to uh, come to the, the youtube video youtube channel youtube you can directly search your transformational journey in case if you want to transform yourself from uh, like you want to learn from geometry and to end learning you can choose all these uh, any of these videos and then you can watch it and if you want to learn tools like neo load or jmeter and what is your level you can just choose them and then you can get those videos and if you have any feedback or comment section uh, any comments please do uh, send this using this feedback section and please do support my channel by clicking on this link and also use this button to subscribe to our channel so with that i come to an end and i definitely believe this video would be very useful to you so until i meet you in our next videos bye bye from us and your favorite little side youtube channel take care and bye bye